have a whole beauty room to film in and lately I've just been like, if I can do it in bed, I'm doing it in bed. That's with everything. Eating, shopping, watching TV, anything. Filming, if I can do it in bed, I'm not leaving my bed. I know you wanna, girl I know you wanna. I forgot to say that on my lips, I'm just doing clear gloss. Look at me, hot mess, can't do nothing right. What's up, y'all? What it do, baby? Baby. What it do, baby? Yeah. Hey guys, it's Naira. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, what's up? What's up? Today, we are doing a get ready with me transformation. <laughs> We are doing not a three-in-one, but a two-in-one hair and makeup get ready with me transformation video. It's gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. If you honestly try to say this isn't a look, you're a liar. Liars go to hell. Sorry. You guys want to see me do my hair, do my makeup, transform into all this glory, then came to the right place, homegirl or homeboy. Keep watching. Okay, we're gonna start with hair because I was having a conversation with my mom the other day and she was like, I need my eyebrows done, I need my hair done, I need my nails done, like I just don't feel like myself. And I was like, first of all, I felt that. But um, not having your hair done is the cornerstone of all your problems. Just think for a second. I'm sure that resonates with like just females in general, but honestly, as a black female, a part of the black female experience is being like, if my hair is not done, I'm not okay. Don't talk to me, don't ask me to go nowhere, don't text me, don't call me. We're not gonna communicate unless it's you cash shopping me money to go get my hair done. Like, no. As a black woman, if your hair is not done, then you've hit rock bottom. Like, you just you just don't feel okay. You don't feel like yourself. So I'm gonna be doing my hair first because I wanna get this hair installed before I start my makeup so I can really feel like my shelf. The hair that I'm using today is from Jaja Hair. It is a 18 inch Brazilian straight wig. Ah. Beautiful, we stand. I've had this hair for a little over a week now. Um, so the lace is cut and everything, and holy crap, it don't shed. Like, look, I'm brushing it or like combing it right now. It does not shed at all. No shedding, literally whatsoever. So soft, the lace blends so well. I don't have to bleach the knots or anything, which is good because I don't know how to do all that. I, no sister, no, not me, not over here. But yeah, the lace is so so, so, so obviously it'll look better when I put it on and like blend it and all that. But the lace on this is so good. The hair quality is so good. I will have it linked down below. Like I said, it's from Jaja Hair. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and install this. So give me a minute because I don't wanna see y'all, like I don't want y'all to see me putting my wig cap on and looking like an alien. So like, I'll be back. So I have a really tiny head. So this cap is on as tight as it goes and it's still a little big on me. Um, but like I said, I know that I have a super small head. So that's why this is a wig that like I absolutely have to glue down when I wear. But if you have a normal sized head, um, so just any head bigger than mine, then you you probably won't have a problem. Um, if you want to wear this glue list, like you just want to make the the straps tight and not glue it down, you should be able to do that if you have a normal size head. So I'm taking my black got to be glue. I like the black one better than the yellow one. I don't know why, but I do. I know people like to apply the glue and let it dry first and all that, but like it's not that big of a deal to me. It is so not that deep. And remember, I am not a hairstylist. I'm so far from it. Like my makeup skills heavily outweigh my hair skills. But I'm just showing you guys what I do. I put it right under the lace. Like I pull back the lace a little and boom. Put the glue and then let it get on there. <laughs> There's a hairstylist out there somewhere about to throw up at the way that I'm doing this. But that's okay. Because it's my hair, not yours. Even if you don't like um, wear wigs, you just are natural or you perm your hair or whatever, like please let me know in the comments, regardless of race, regardless of how you do your hair or what you consider getting your hair done. Like, do y'all feel that way when your hair is not done? Are you just like, ugh, life cannot go on.
For brows, I'm using my Morphe. Wait. For brows, I'm using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is like the old faithful. No matter what's going on, this brow pencil slaps. We gonna do some eyeshadow today. Um, <laughs> I'm sick of doing fun eyeshadow. I never, ever, ever do neutral eyeshadow because usually I tell myself, if you want natural eyeshadow, don't wear eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is only for the pink, the purples, the greens, the oranges, the yellows, the blues, the yellows, the, the greens. Only wear eyeshadow if you want colorful eyeshadow. But I know that's not even realistic. Like I know that's me being a nutcase. But because, I, like I said, I'm in that case, I don't often do neutral eyeshadow. So this is going to be rare for me. Let's do some neutral eyeshadow. Um, okay, taking my James Charles Morphe palette, and I'm going to start with this shade here, and then we're going to move into that shade. And I don't pick up more than one color on an eyeshadow brush at the same time. Ew, you're disgusting if you do that. Um, don't mix the colors. Nasty. Y'all make me sick. Y'all make me... So I'm going to pick this color up, blend it into my crease completely, and then go into this color because no. Okay, now we're going to take this deep brown right here. I left the little thing that tells you all the shade colors in my beauty room. <laughs> Sorry, not going to get that. What do I look like walking in the hallway? Anywho, I'm taking this dark brown and putting that just on the outer, outer half, whatever. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It might not even look like much now. But when I put these lashes on though, it's a wrap for you. Just kidding. I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even all the way done with the eyes yet. I want to do a inner corner highlight and I think I'm gonna do some white eyeliner. I never do that, but I think it'll be really cute. One of the things I do like about like when I rarely do natural eyeshadow is like it's not a half cut crease. It's not super bright and colorful, so like everything doesn't have to be so, 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 so stupid precise. You know what I mean? I like that. I can appreciate that. I'm not 100% done with the eyes, but I'm going to move on to the face, and then we'll come back to the eye. Yes, baby! The NYX Born to Glow. There's nothing like it. Wouldn't trade this foundation for the world. Let's plaster this bad boy on here. I saw a tweet a while back that said, if you absolutely have to put foundation on your eyelids, you're not doing something right. That um, has helped me with my shade matching since I've seen the tweet. It like haunts me whenever I'm trying to buy a new foundation. So just a tip I wanted to share. If you have to put foundation on your eyelids, maybe it's not the right color. Now we're gonna conceal. I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This concealer slaps and is cheap and it has the widest shade range. I say, Anytime I use this concealer on camera, I go full on fangirl about it. So like, I ain't even gonna do that today. Y'all already know how I'm writing about this concealer. Me and the LA Girl Pro Conceal are right until the wheels fall off, okay? Let me wait for this concealer to dry. I straight up am looking like a celebrity makeup artist and a celebrity hairstylist did my face because wow the what y'all the way that i'm coming right now my elf flesh and bronzer duo <laughs> i love this bad boy we going this this is so fast just boom quick little contour on the nose quick little contour on the cheeks and then bada boom bada bing it's that simple my favorite makeup product in the whole world ah blush i'm in i'm in love i'm in love with blush i'm obsessed 
Give me blush for Christmas. That's all I want for Christmas. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Uh, blush palette. I'm gonna mix these two colors because that's the combo that really slaps for me. I put my blush right on top of where I contoured. I usually don't contour at all, but even when I don't contour, I put my blush right above where I would contour rather than the apples on my cheeks because it helps shape my face. When I don't do this, my face be looking all fat. But I wanna do a little bit of white eyeliner on my lower lid. What? what am I, you know what I'm trying to say. I love Nella Rose. She's a British influencer. And she is she is so funny because she's always like, I only have one makeup look, like for everything, for the club, for every day, for shopping. And the one makeup look that she always does has this white on the lower, uh, like her lower lash line, I guess. And it looks so good on her. And I've been telling myself I wanna try some white on the lower lash line. Back in the days of like Bethany Moda and um, RCL Beauty and what's her name? Uh, she's best friends with Tila Dunn. She's best friends with Tila. Meredith. They all used to do like the white on the, like, like that era of Beauty Guru used to always be like, I'm gonna put white on my lower lash line to make my eyes look bigger. Oh my God. Me and my best friend Maya at the time, I've talked to her on this channel before. I always like reference little stuff about her. She's still one of my really good friends. We used to be obsessed. We thought we were the cutest things in the world putting white eyeliner on our lower lash line because Meredith Foster told us to. I'm gonna put on my lashes off camera. I was gonna put on a little bit of highlight, just a little bit. I don't know about a highlighter. Thank you guys so much for watching, talking, chilling with me, caring about what I have to say, caring about what products I'm using, what hair I got on all that i really appreciate it seriously this hair will be linked down below if you are interested <laughs> thank you jaja hair for sending me this hair if you enjoyed this video leave me a like comment subscribe all that head on over to my instagram follow your girl like a pic or two it's whatever i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching Bye. i know you want Girl, I know you wanna I know you want to, girl Ride the pipe like a bike, oh Do the things you know I like, oh I'm the man in my ends, oh